Hey guys, it's Melissa from Kiwi Banana here, and today is Wednesday, the 25th of March, and I've just biked home from uni. I've been there for about 12 hours today, and so I had my lunch and my dinner all packed and ready there. And um, I'm doing this video because today has been one of those really trippy days. Like, you know, like I had my lectures and that this morning and then at lunch I went to a talk sort of like a, one of the clubs on campus um, and they have a competition where you can enter in um, say like a business idea and you go through a whole process and um, eventually you'll win some money to help um, start up your business and there was um, a guy there who's like uh, the young entrepreneur of the year for New Zealand, um, he came as a guest speaker and when he was introducing himself um, he said that he was from this little town um, that I'm from, like on the west coast, this really small town. I was like, whoa, this is, this is bizarre. So I had to reach out with him afterwards, you know, about old principles and stuff like that. And then um, I had some more lectures in the afternoon and I went to another talk um, in the evening. There's this China trip that I want to do at, at the end of the year. And um, this one was talking sort of about China and a little bit about the trip. And it was mostly based about um, doing business in China and um, also doing business here for Chinese people and things like that. And and it turns out um, one of the people who was networking there is that came as a guest speaker, he was from the west coast as well and he was from another town that I'd lived there. I was like, this is really bizarre day and um, like with this China trip I was thinking, oh, like I should um, probably get in contact with this friend, this Chinese friend of mine that I'd made through um, my previous uh, study, um, it was at a CPIT, they call it here, in Christchurch. And, um, I was like, I must make contact with uh, with them and try and you know get some some Chinese language and that sort of learnt and and then he was he was there at the at the talk as well, um, not as a speaker but as another person just coming along. Um, he now studies at the university as well, but I hadn't seen him in ages, and I was like, whoa, um, you know. And I went to this the talk at lunch because it was in regards to you know if I had a social enterprise idea for the community gardens that I'm involved in like maybe I should um, you know is there something I should venture into and the reason um, I went to the evening run obviously was for sort of the China trip and also I have you know a little bit of um, eco-tourism ideas and that so I'm like today has been a really bizarre day like these these people that um, it's like they've they've um, made themselves known or just come in into my little day like and it's like it's the world sending me these messages I'm like if it, how do you interpret them you know like I'm like should, should I go with this like social enterprise idea that I've got you know for the garden or should I do like this eco-terrorism idea or or should I like merge them both or like you know and maybe I should start learning more Chinese and I'm like the world is its a really bizarre place and today's been quite trippy and I don't think I've really done a topic like this before but I thought I would share it with you anyway because you know I, I do believe in the law of attraction and it's something that I have I don't necessarily um, would say I practice it or that it um, I guess it probably is a practice it could be a practice but I just, I do kind of believe, like, I don't want to dwell on negative things too much, you know, if I find myself dwelling and I'm like, oh, stop it, Melissa, if you do that, then you'll bring it into your life, or you'll exacerbate, you'll make it bigger than what it really is, um, but it just, the world just keeps bringing me these things, and it, it just br it gives me all this stuff, I, it's, the world's a brilliant place we live in, man, it really is. And, you know, some people say, oh, oh, you're just lucky, or, you know, uh, 
yeah, I'm lucky I was born in New Zealand. It's a blooming beautiful place. Um, I don't come from any privileged background. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm bloody lucky and bloody happy that, um, you know, that we have a social welfare system here because I don't know what we would have done when I was a child. We we literally lived off, off social welfare for a lot of my childhood. Um, you know, I don't come from anything that privileged. I mean, I'm really happy that I haven't been brought up in a third world country. I, I can't I can't complain about that, you know, and always had a roof over my head and there was, we had clothes and we had food to eat, you know, and I was so glad that we had that. I think I'm going a little bit off traffic um, topic, get back on this, but anyway, you know, like, people say, oh, you're lucky, blah, blah, you just got to focus on those positive things. Don't focus on things that you that you want in life, or that that you feel that you can give in life that are going to make you happy, or or just things that you want to do. Like so many things I want to do, and it just the world just keeps giving me these things. I d I don't know. I don't know how to say no. I d That's amazing. Oh, today is just. I don't know. The world's amazing. <laughs> I am. Um, <laughs> I guess this is a little bit of another side to me. And there's obviously a few things I've just touched on over what I've just spilled onto you about. Um, maybe, you know, I should do some more videos about the particular topics. Um, there's definitely one topic I want to go into, obviously. Um, you know, I, you know, I'm a high carb vegan, and there's going to be times um, where I'm going to. My morals are really going to be tested, and um, I, you know, I will do a video in the future. I want to explain about why I still want to, why I still want to keep on studying, why I would like to venture into the corporate world, because there is reasons behind why I still want to do these things, and that I don't, you know, I don't want to quit them or um, go completely on a different route and um, I think it's important that there is this little high count vegan sort of just sneaking around the world getting in all these different industries and just you know just working our little magic but I'll do a video of that in the future anyway I better stop talking it's been about eight minutes now and um, I hope you've done something that makes you happy today see ya